And up until that moment, I really hadn't had sort of direct, as I said, that, you know, people had shouted stuff at me and whatever, but, um, uh, you know, I sort of gr grew up watching the telly, what, you know, I used to love watching the telly with my parents and seeing Dick Emery and Morecambe and Wise and the, all the Christmas specials, all those real, you know, dancing with newsreaders and all that stuff. It was all so magical and innocent. And, and I thought, yeah, I'm, I love this. I'm, I felt like a little English boy. And, and then this old man, basically, I saw him walking towards me and he, he sort of leaned in and said, you know, get the out of my country, you little black bastard. And it was such a shock to me at the time, because I didn't understand what he meant, get out of his country. And my little mind was turning, the wheels were turning in my head. And that's when I thought, maybe I don't belong here. That's when that split happened. When I suddenly thought, well, if, you know, and then, and then people telling me to go home or go back to where I came from, you know, It just, um, it, it, it sort of just unnerved me as a kid. And, it, it, you know, it, it would always just sit there in my head. What does that mean? Go home, go back. It just didn't, I never quite understood it. I never quite knew how to, how to navigate it. So, so, I, so I, I just sort of tried to make do and, you know, shove it aside, not think about it. And, and it was only, as I say, that's where I found my escape into my imagination. And then, and then when it came back, it just came back with a vengeance because it was coming back in the form of criticism of my performances and um, criticism of, I remember I had the worst review I've ever had in my life. I played, I played Romeo and, um, it was such a, an awful review and very, very personal. I remember it. It said, it said, apparently this kid went to RADA. Why did they let him in? And why did they let him out? And it was, it was awful. And it was so bad that my director at the time phoned up the local newspaper and said, what the hell is going on there? And, you know, they apologised and said, you know, their normal reviewer wasn't, wasn't available, so they'd sent some, some third, you know, some somebody else, and they they said, you know, they, he obviously wasn't uh, had just just went too far, but it was too late. That was already been printed and it was already online, and it, it was just crushing for me. It was crushing that I was being so dismissed and so, um, particularly having had some success at Rada and really looking forward to what I was going to do in my career, it, it, it just crushed me. And that's when I started to, as I say, these, these, these things started to come back up again.